Uh, oh, I'm pretty damn nervous to be honest. Uh, probably more nervous than uh, running out for a, uh, a test match. But you know, there's been a lot of hard work going, and uh, I, I guess you know where we got to tonight. It's uh, it's pretty cool. So, um, but you know, it's still pretty daunting walking down the red carpet when there's a movie uh, about yourself. So, uh, but I'm going to try and enjoy it. It was in some ways a no-brainer that he had a story to tell, and that his story was quite epic. It was not a given that he would ever want to tell it because he's a very private person and he chooses what he says and how he how he rolls. So that was the interesting challenge, was was going not was there a story but would he ever tell it? First memory was I, I saw him play um, for Otago Boys High. I just started working in rugby and the top four comp was in Christchurch and I was working for Canterbury Rugby and I remember sitting with Steve Hansen watching and uh, he's going, ah, oh, I've got to get that kid to Canterbury. He was playing for Otago Boys so yeah, he was just a sort of raw bone kid running around all over the place. So. Well, it's very special for Richie, isn't it? And I think it's, it's great for us because it's another sort of chapter in, in the story. The thing that's really uh, really quite fun at this particular point in time is that he is extremely nervous. He is squirming, and we're loving that. I guess uh, one of the things when we decided that we're going to do that is um, it needs to show, I wanted it to show that you know my, my uh, upbringing background was very similar to the ordinary Kiwi kid, uh, and and that you know um, you work hard and, and you know really chase your dreams. Think anything's possible, and I want to hopefully inspire some uh, the next generation of kids either to be an All Black or to, to chase whatever dreams they want, and you know show that anything's possible. You know, look, I've just seen him put in some special performances at Super Rugby at All Black level. Uh, I've handed over a few trophies to him in my time out on the presentations on the field, and you know, the one thing I they always know about him is he always came off the field hurting somewhere and having emptied the tank and I, and I think that that's uh, something that a lot of New Zealanders and a lot of fans around the world can uh, really say that it, it satisfied them knowing that he went out there and gave 100% every time.